In parts of Ukraine, this is how soldiers and civilians are clearing anti-personnel mines. And this is the latest threat. Russian forces call it the petal. Elsewhere it's known as the butterfly mine or the green parrot. The MOD says Russian units in the Donbass are deploying these submunitions along their defensive lines, particularly around Donetsk and Kramatorsk, bringing with it the danger of widespread military and civilian casualties. They will blow your hand off. Bob Gravitt is a former British Army bomb disposal officer and now works for a group carrying out mine clearance around the world. For the average soldier, it's not such an issue, but it's it looks like an attractive plastic toy. It's only about four or five inches long, so it's quite small, green plastic, brown or white plastic. They tend to be the three colours. And it looks harmless. That's the problem. They come down the same as a sycamore leaf and just the heavy body comes down and the fin rotates it. That gives it a relatively soft landing so they can impact and land anywhere. They can be in the trees, in orchards. They can be in cornfields. They can be anywhere. And they very quickly blend into the local scenery. The PFM-1 is a small plastic mine around 11 centimetres in size. It's a Soviet-era copy of a US anti-personnel mine used during the Vietnam War. They're dropped from an aircraft or shot into an area using a special mortar, with their wings helping to stabilise their fall and acting as the fuse. Inside is 40 grams of liquid explosive. Not lethal, but enough to maim anyone unlucky enough to step on one or pick it up. The Soviets scattered vast numbers of these across Afghanistan, maiming large numbers of children who picked them up thinking they were toys. The Russian MOD says it's actually Ukraine using butterfly mines and released footage showing what it says are pro-Russian troops clearing them from a street in Donetsk. But Kyiv says the pictures are faked and this is actually Russian troops clearing up their own mines. They fall in the river, they can be washed down uh, because they are semi-buoyant. They will tumble along and turn up in a completely un-war impacted zone and lay themselves on beaches and corners, coves, all sorts. They look innocent enough for people to pick up. And if they pick them up at the thin end, they'll be able to carry it to the school or to the house until someone pushes the other end and then you find out what it really is. The 1997 Ottawa Treaty outlawed anti-personnel mines. More than 160 countries signed up, but Russia and indeed Ukraine didn't. Both countries possess millions of them, and the MOD has warned that many are now old and unpredictable, increasing even further the dangers for Ukraine's desperate population. Simon Newton, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.